<laughs> Hold on. Hold that thought. Oh. <laughs> Checking for appearance. <laughs> so, hello. Hello, everybody. Jan Mike. and Mike here from Sunsets and Sangria. I almost said Jan Hicks Creates. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> Sunsets and Sangria. So, where are we? We are at Diamond Head, which is one of the must-do attractions. There are a lot of a lot of things that are probably must do attract in Oahu, yeah. but if, if you only have time and for, you know, if you're only here in a visit and you're not living here like we are, this is one of the must do things that you have to do whenever you're here. And especially if you're in Waikiki at one of the hotels, this is very close to Waikiki. Yeah. So yeah. it is not necessarily for the faint of heart. No. So no. The, the trail starts up, it's a two mile trail, 1.8 mile trail. Two. Um, Oh, yeah, point, point 0.8 mile trail, oh, yeah. Eight, yeah. Yeah, and the climb is 560 feet. Yeah, it's, it's, to the it's um, It says allow one and a half to two hours for a safe and, it says safe and, leisurely. <laughs> I, there's nothing about no. this that I would call leisurely. No, no, no. It, it starts off paved. Right, it starts off paved and the it with an, an easy slope. Right, yes, it's very yeah, it suckers you in. And, oh, this is no big deal. But then the pavement goes away and it's like kind of, I guess Broke it's uneven off. stone. It's, yeah. it's uneven rock. Basically. And then it gets There's rockier the, and rockier. Yeah. There's parts of it depending on which side of the slope you're on that can be that are like more in the shady, rainy areas. Mm -hmm that were quite slippery. Yes. Uh, there is a railing, right. just on one side. But m many, many days, like this morning, it, it rained, and before we got here, and the, the rock was very slippery, and there are standing pools of water here and there, and there are a lot of people, unless you come really early. So that would be my first bit of advice. Come early. The park opens at 6 and closes at 6. So get here as early as you can, because otherwise it, it's like Disneyland here. Now, to give you a little bit of context, it is... December 24th, Merry Christmas Eve, and we got here about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, so um, we had a lot of friends with us. Yeah, yeah. Um, made a lot of friends. Yeah, yeah. So it's, there's some very steep stairs, there's some very steep slopes. If you are willing to try it, it is totally worth the view. Yeah. Once you get up there, you have lookouts over Waikiki, you have lookouts over the lighthouse at the base of Diamond Head, and then looking up the coast further to Cocoa yeah, the, Crater. The, the, the views are breathtaking, as yeah. you can see, we'll you know, yeah, overlay yeah, some as, shots yeah, here. But, you'll see in the video. Um, and, and also, I mean, having said that, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't want anybody to go, oh, you know, it's, it's like climbing Mount Everest. It's not, but you have to go into it with proper footwear. I mean, we see people here with sandals and flip-flops. It's like, mm. yeah. um, and, and just water. take your time and be careful. Yeah, take Make some, sure water. You some water. Make some water. And there are, there are plenty of places where you can pause yeah. and take a break. Yeah. We, um, you know, we used to be in good shape. <laughs> One of our goals here, having moved to the island, is that because it allows for a much more outdoor lifestyle we're going to get back into shape this this one was my knees are feeling it now you know we're in our mid 50s so um we're not spring chickens but we're we're not and, she, and she's had Jan's had knee issues for a while yeah um, but mostly sorry. because i'm out of shape so um this is going to be the first of many hikes on oahu and the other islands so but yeah i mean again this this is a must do it's I mean, the, the crater is really cool. I mean, just, just to be in the crater part. And of course, um, there's a lot of history here, too. Right, because there, there's a little pamphlet that explains it all. Yeah, it's World War II, you know, bunkers and all that kind of stuff, which you which they actually have some that you can go in as part of the. Well, and um, actually, these, these were all here before. They were here right, yeah, it's pre war. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, well, oh, and, and let me also remind you, okay, or, or let you know. Okay, if you try to drive in, there's very limited parking inside mm -hmm. the crater, and it's five bucks a vehicle. Okay, now the better idea, if you want to just 
get a few more steps in, there's actually quite a bit of parking. Um, yeah, there's a little downhill from the park. entrance. Yeah, there's there's like where they have the, um, the farmers a, market. Yeah, and the campus too. There's a community college right, right outside here. So and and then um, whenever you walk in that way, it's it's a dollar a piece. But cause, so just take into account that the parking here is is very limited inside the crater. So and they must limit how many people can come in if, because there's not enough parking. For right, them. right. So anyway, so that's our recommendation. Park, you know like at the farmer's market or something and that's on Google Maps I mean you can you can look look for it and that probably adds like maybe half a mile yeah and it's and, and it's an easy it's an easy walk uphill yeah, from there yeah, so yeah so a recommendation for that all right so but there time is. to go back to the Navy Lodge yeah. <laughs>